All right, guys, and then over here we have the Princess Y85. I mean, if it's anything like the 72, it's gonna be another absolutely stunning vessel. So exterior-wise, pretty similar. Streamlined design, super sleek, super modern. Um, it looks like the swim steps somewhat comparable, maybe a tad bit bigger. Um, but if you notice, compared to the 72, instead of having a straight line um, on that last step, this one actually curbs um, a little bit out towards the middle, which is kind of cool, a little bit of a uh, higher attention to detail there. Um, and then, if you notice, you actually have an outdoor shower right there, which is super cool, super handy. That way, you know, anyone who does want to utilize the shower can do so on the swim step without bringing, you know, more water on deck. Very cool. And then, if you look, the two, two steps, the two lanes that you have to get into the, the cockpit um, are very ample, almost double the size that I've seen on most vessels, uh, which is really cool to see. Just more space um, and well thought out, I would say. So let's move on up and see what we got going on. So gorgeous cockpit area, look at this. And then if you notice the back rail there, they did about half of it with a glass. So instead of carrying the solid panel up to the top and blocking your view, you know, you can still see through it and st still see towards the swim step. Um, and that's gorgeous. I love how this table can actually be folded away so that you have more space for seating. Um, great setup, very cool, beautiful finish on the wood. And then up top, you still have some outdoor lighting in case you wanna hang out after sunset. Um, very cool. This one actually carries the handrail as you're going up the stairs pretty much all the way up, which is nice for added safety. And then if you look, you know, going from the stern to the bow, you have plenty of space, really ample. One of the bigger spaces that I've seen to get to the bow. Um, so I love to see that. And if you look, they even carry like a gloss finish on uh, these furnishings, uh, which is pretty cool because it seems to be the theme going throughout. Um, love the attention to detail that they've kept and maintained on the Teak. Um, beautiful boat. So let's head on in and see what we got going on. Transition wise, you go from teak to absolutely beautiful hardwood floors. The furniture is absolutely exquisite. Look how well thought out it is. The flow is fantastic. Nice open floor plan. Leaves you room to you know customize, I guess, if you have the opportunity to do so, or if you want to, it already looks amazing. And then entertainment wise, look at the TV and look at the size of those windows. Absolutely stunning. Again, with that streamlined design on the outline beautiful dining table absolutely gorgeous you do have the two bar stools that are fixed to the vessel as well again look at the view that you have throughout this vessel absolutely stunning and then you have lighting across the top with that streamlined design absolutely gorgeous again more huge window almost floor to ceiling and then you have your gorgeous curtains to you know block out the sun if you need absolutely stunning and look at the furniture the ambience the lighting is amazing excuse me and man there's so much beauty on this vessel it's unreal and then they didn't on this handrail i mean it's still custom has its own bends and let's take a look what we have going on i would have loved to see you know light, lighting on each step as well just for any nighttime access uh, but you still have a light here at the bottom that I think, you know, lights upstairs well enough. And then over here, I believe, would be the master cabin. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous flush entertainment. Beautiful, humongous window with that streamlined design again. Going with the flow of the exterior. Plenty of counter space, storage there. Nice chair, you know, for getting ready. Um, and then great, you know, it looks like a king size bed. Um, look at this, you know, the spacing that you have here, absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, look at the view that we have right now, absolutely stunning. So close to the water level, well designed. And then it looks like we have a closet with floor to ceiling mirror as well. So absolutely gorgeous boat further throughout the vessel this one's one of those big ones that you can get lost in uh, but everything's so well laid out that it would take you you know no time to get used to it i mean how could this be hard to get used to again look at the you know the um, premium design that they have on the backboards nice ambient lighting on that you know half half of it 
Again, uh, lighting up above the curtains, shelf space on the side if you need. You know, twin bend setup with its own head in this quarters. Very cool. Lighting across the bottom. You know, your plenty spacious sink with um, shelf space as well. Beautiful window to let more lighting in, airflow. And look at this shower. What a setup for a twin bed quarters. Unreal. Unreal. And then, I mean, look at this. Even, even just the walls have mirrors on them. And I love that because anytime you use a mirror, kind of really adds a little bit more of a, of a, you know, illusion of more space, but it's still a great use. Love this little vanity that they have in this nook. Great use of space. Well thought out. Plenty of lighting coming through the windows. You also have shelf space close to the bed, your electrical outlets, so you can plug in all your gadgets. Nice, within reach. Great bed size. Great, you know, uh, use of space before it transitions into the step up. Love to see it. Again, they carry the same theme with that split backboard with ambient lighting on one side. Absolutely stunning, guys. Absolutely stunning. So let's take a look. Fantastic counters, floor to ceiling. Whew. Nothing but attention to detail in these vessels. Absolutely exquisite. And so at this point, I, th I think this is where I say I'm lost. But over here, we have a bigger quarters. Um, and that looks like it's about a queen at least. And beautiful window, a little bit more shelf space and then its own entertainment setup as well with a little vanity cabinet. So that's cool to see. Um, just another little option that they added. And then, just a quick note, look at the, how they carried this custom rail all the way through, excuse me, and up and around the stairs. So that is beautiful. And then, if we take a look at the galley here. Great use of space, interesting design in the countertop. Oh, that's because it can actually be walled off. So that's very cool for a little privacy in case you have, a, you know, your own personal chef. Um, you know, they can prepare the food, lunch, dinner without uh, interrupting the guests or any event going on. Um, gorgeous sink, beautiful cabinets. I love the, um, the finishes on the handles, your stove, oven. You do have, it looks like a fridge over there as well. So, you know, I don't think any cook would complain about this kitchen. Looks like they have everything they need. Absolutely stunning. And then let's, so I'm gonna give him a chance. So we got a guy recording up front. I don't wanna interfere with that video, but wow. As we go up, look at the attention to detail on the stairs, beautiful teak. Again, you have the rail for safety as you go upwards. Would love to see some lights on the steps, but it doesn't take away anything from the boat that it, they don't. Look at, this waterfall feature in the jacuzzi absolutely stunning you know any guest would love to enjoy that beautiful outdoor bar again you have the same uh, material that you do have on the main uh, main deck lounge towards the stern um, so they kept that theme up top as well very gorgeous and it just matches the exterior of the vessel as well and note that everything's pretty much streamlined and custom you know um, custom angles if you will and this outdoor bar looks absolutely fantastic. Um, you do have two fixed stools, so you don't have to worry about those falling over. Um, gorgeous vessel. And then over here, you have extra seating right next to the uh, top deck helm. Gorgeous, you have co-captain seat here. Again, premium material that's really gonna endure uh, no matter what weather you're in. And don't forget about the lighting across the bottom for you know that nighttime illumination creating such a vibe absolutely stunning state-of-the-art controls look at how crisp clear those displays are and then you have your thruster thruster controls your throttle everything easy access and even more you know seating on the port side so of course with your cup holders and just take a look at this ceiling here how it's retractable uh, which is really great so that if the sun's not beaming on you too hard 
you can open that up, allow some extra airflow or just lighting in general. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And then over here you have a beautiful hardwood table that can be folded away or extended depending on how much you know surface area you need if you're having a bigger event or not. Um, but again, look at this jacuzzi. Fantastic, nice and easy access with the step midway. Um, and then the fact that it just has a beautiful you know, waterfall feature to add a little more something to it. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you even have some seating in case someone just wants to dip their legs in, dip their feet in the water and not get fully wet. You know, they can still enjoy the jacuzzi um, without getting, you know, really wet if they don't want to. Um, but look how open this top deck lounge is. You know, plenty of space and opportunity for you to put whatever furniture you want here um, and really, you know, design this space for yourself. Um, so however you're going to use it best, you know, more power to you. Absolutely stunning.